place, you know, and had fun doing it. So um, that really put me in the game. My mom, you know, put me around the sport, and I just began to have a love for it from the first beginning since I started. That's awesome. Do you remember that first particular moment where you were like, yes, this is what I want to do forever? Yeah, I remember I was um, five years old. You know, I was playing in the older guys' league, but I was the youngest. I played receiver, and um, it was just one specific play I always ran because I was the fastest on the team. I ran around to the and scored a touchdown, you know, like 70 yards. And from then on, I was just happy, you know, and I um, loved the game. I grew passion for it. So um, it just kept me going. You know, that was my drive. You know, from the first beginning, I had success. You know. That's incredible. So I'm sure you always have people around you pushing you to do it since you started from such a young age. But what was it like when you got into college? It was, it was kind of in the morning, you know. It was like a movie in real life, you know. Um, when a lot of media and everything is thrown at you, you know, when you're in college, you're just trying to be as best as you can in the sport that you play. So um, just to have that type of attention for the world to see you as you are on the field, you know, um, they can always drive you to be, they can be company breaking, you know, for kids out there. It can be nerve wrecking, but you gotta just keep going, you gotta keep pushing. So you gotta be a public figure. Like they wanna see you, you gotta be wanna do that for yourself. You know? Absolutely. So what was that moment like when you were drafted to the Jets? Congratulations. I want to take you back to that moment. Um, thank you. Um, it, was, it was a great moment. You know, it was just a blessing just to be here in this situation. You know, um, a lot of guys would like to be here in this situation, but you got to take advantage of it. You got to handle your business and do your job. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you realized when you were in that position that you did not notice beforehand? I'm um, not really, you know, um, football is football, you know, and life is life. So um, you got to go and take it just like it is. You got to want to be a champion in life. You got to want to be a champion in football. So that's the way you just got to take life. And you got to take that situation right there. Yeah, um, main source, my mom. Another main source, God. You know, my family to push me behind me, you know. Those three sources right there, you know, they, they, they're just changing my life. You know, they take you to another that you thought you could never go. You know, being from where I'm from, Tokyo, Mississippi, a lot of kids don't make it out. And you got to have some hope for yourself because everybody don't want to see you. Maybe you got to want to make it for your own self. I love that. And is there anything else you can say about Mississippi, about how it may have helped you um, go into the fact that you're in today? Mississippi helped me because we lack resources. You know, we let, we didn't have the trainers, we didn't have everything that a lot of kids had growing up, so we was out there playing on raw talent, you know, and um, we just lacked the resources and, you know, they kind of put us behind, but we was always blue collar guys who always worked hard, and you know, um, that triumph, everything, hard work, is gonna pay off in the end. What is something or goal that you're going after right now? I just wanna get major, you know. Um, right now, I'm just focused on being the better me every day. Every day I step out there on that field, being a better me. Every time I'm between the line, be better than the person that's in front of me. I'm not worried about what else happening in the future, because I can only live for now. So um, right now, I'm just focused on being the best of my prime right now. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. So there you have it with Brandon Bryant. And is there anything else you would like anybody to know about? Um, Y'all can follow me on Instagram at blb1 underscore arrow. Thank you. you know what it is, man. This is my brother right here, man. Y'all gonna see us at the top, man. Y'all just wait for it, man. Facts. Hey, remember this moment, Jeremy. We out to. Shout out to Sakara.com. We out.